practice during the pandemic, accreditation review process, and a very long and strenuous presidential search. The Board of Regents approved a one-off payment to all employees. And of course, this is not enough. But it's a start, and it's recognition of the need for a more comprehensive process for overall review, which will be initiated by a new personnel audit scheduled for the second half of the calendar year. So Mr. Mauricio, whatever, it's coming. The board is committed to working with the new CEO FSM president, Dr. Puroi Bulaono, and the FSM government and college community to rebuild and regain its earlier status of being one of, if not the, best place to work in the FSM. If you're happy as an employee of the college, that translates to happy students. Happy students translate to successful graduates, and successful graduates Graduates translate to leaders of tomorrow, which further equates to better nation building. This is in line with our mission, which Mr. Perman read for us. Second, in creating the future we want to see is our commitment to the students. What better way to do this than through the endowment fund to ensure the sustainability of the college? I'm pleased to convey, along with our President Mori, that through collaborative efforts and the endowment fundraising activities so far for the year, we have surpassed our $800,000 goal as of the anniversary dinner last Saturday night, where we totaled over $872,000 towards the endowment. We've now increased our target goal to $900,000 by the end of the year. And we encourage all to kindly continue supporting this initiative for the future of the college and the students of CO and FSM. To close, I'd like to offer sincere appreciation to the organizing committee for today's founding day celebration, specifically student life, the student body associations from the national campus and CTEC, as well as all the working committees, and thanks to everyone for their continued commitments to improving our college. On behalf of the Board of Regents, congratulations to all of us for 30 years and years to 30 great years more and beyond. Kulo Maalala, Kinesot Sarapur, Kamagar, Kosa Shigajik, and Talangan Mango, my fellow Sharks. Happy 30th Founding Day. and we're all here to watch and enjoy our students perform and showcase our cultural differences. So the order will go like this. Moju will go first, then students from Chujok, Yap Student Organization, CETA, then we'll have lunch, then followed by Prashai Student Organization, then Trimo.
morning, ladies and gentlemen. Drew Jackie's back with the show. <laughs> Starting on your left, if you look to the left, this is what we call it bread fruit. What you will be pounding bread fruit? Chuchup will be pounding taro. It is known as god pura. So back in the days, this is what our beloved ancestors always do. They pound bread fruit, but when it's the right season to pound bread fruit, uh, there is a common practice that we always do, which is when you first harvest your plants, especially when, when it comes to breadfruit, you have to make or yeah, make one for the chief. And if you look in the middle, we have our chief along with the queen.
So yeah, let's wait because it'll take like five minutes until it's ready to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for the pet fruit, it's different from the charo because when you're pounding the pet fruit, you have to go fast or else it'll, it'll get sticky. <laughs> yeah, you really have to pound it really fast or else you're going to end up pounding a rock. On the towel, no need to rush. Take your time. Take your time. But yeah, let's not forget the coconut milk. That's the best part of the dish. Uh, we have some things that are different from the one we had last time. This is the bar, aka filter. This thing, we get it from the coconut tree, far up. And we really take so much. Energy, I'm just saying. 